like his foreplay wasn't good. Is that a British thing or? <laughs> um, I am part Latina, any Latinos in? Woo! Oh, very slow. They're one, two, that's the sound of Brexit, you guys. <laughs> two in a room. Um, but I am part Latina. A lot of people ask me how to say Latina so strongly and it's because this is my skin tone. <laughs> and my name is Katie Green, <laughs> okay? And if I say to you, hi, my name's Katie and I'm a Latina, it sounds like I'm telling you what I was for Halloween, okay? <laughs> But my grandma's from El Salvador, she's very overprotective of me. Like when I told her I was moving to England, she was like, ay mija, don't go to London, London is dangerous. <laughs> the other day, I saw on the TV, this girl was taken by the cartel and they've been looking for her for months. And I was like, what grandma? This happened in London? And she was like, no, mi novela, but it could have been you mija. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of crying lately. My favorite place to cry is on the tube. <laughs> because nobody looks at you and it's just so nice, you know? Like I was crying on my way over here and I actually saw this girl move her mask over her eyes. <laughs> just to avoid looking at me. And I was like, thank you for the respect, you know? <laughs> like usually nobody talks to you when you're crying on public transport, but one time this girl did come up to me when I was crying and she was like, I just wanna say, He's not worth it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, my dad just died. <laughs> but you're right, screw him. <laughs> I, uh, I did just go through a breakup recently. Um, thank you for your support. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, like, okay, he wasn't technically my boyfriend, okay? But he felt like he was my boyfriend. And it's hard because I'm part Latina, okay? So I'm naturally very possessive. But I'm also part British, so I do have that tendency to claim things that were never really mine in the first place. <laughs> oh, really tense. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I think the hardest thing about going through a breakup in the UK is that I had to get British advice, okay? And I'll be honest with you guys, it's just a bit too non-confrontational for me. Okay, like I said, I'm Latina, okay? Advice when I went through a breakup at home, it was practical. Advice when I went through a breakup at home, it was like, we're gonna get the machete. <laughs> we're gonna go to his house, we're gonna slash all of his tires, and then we're gonna wait in the window. And I was like, whoa, grandma, chill out, okay? <laughs> it's not that serious. But of a friend out here and her advice, she was like, Katie. <laughs> All you have to do, okay, all you have to do is write him a letter, okay? And remember, the letter's for you, not for him, okay? And you're gonna write all your feelings in the letter, okay? Everything you wanna say to him, and then you're gonna fold it up and just put it in the bin. <laughs> I was like, that's horrible advice. And she was like, I'm so sorry, put it in the recycling. <laughs> it's crazy. I think the big problem with, uh, with us is just, we just weren't compatible. Like sexually, we weren't compatible at all. Like his foreplay wasn't good. Is that a British thing or? <laughs> okay, your silence speaks words. <laughs> His favorite position was doggy style, and I actually read in an article, it said that men who prefer doggy style typically prefer it because it's the least intimate position because you don't have to make eye contact, okay? And I read this and I was furious because I was like, oh my God, we've been doing doggy the whole time. He's avoiding intimacy. So then after that, I would never do doggy style again, okay? I made my own variation. I called it excited doggy. <laughs> I made eye contact every time, okay? He never came again, but not my problem. <laughs> He's also a funny guy. And I feel like a lot of girls, they think they want a funny guy. That's probably why you guys sat front row. You're like, I want a funny guy. No, you don't, okay? You know why? Because funny doesn't make you come, okay? <laughs> Absolutely not. Like he would go down there, he'd tap on the pussy a few times and he'd be like, is this thing on? <laughs> it wasn't. All right, guys, I've been Katie. Thank you so much for having me. Have a good night. <laughs>